comparison between the Google Pixel 2 XL and the LG V30. Two phones that look quite similar, share some similar components. We've got six inch OLED displays across both, but there are some key differences as well. You've got stereo front firing speakers on the Pixel 2 XL. The design as a result is a little bit taller. Similar levels of thinness and similar port configurations, though you do have a 3.5 mil headphone jack on the LG V30. Round the back, fingerprint scanners in all the right places. Google though says that it's got its fastest fingerprint scanner around. And the camera is a single camera sensor, 12.3 megapixels, uh, it's 1.4 micron pixel sizes and an f1.8 lens. You can see that's versus a dual camera, one wide angle, one uh, regular field of view. 120 degree wide angle, 16 megapixels, 12 megapixel, f1.6 regular field of view, key camera at the heart. The user interface is also going to be different despite the screen technologies being the same. Now you've got stock Android 8 versus uh, LG's take on Android 7. LG's Android 7 is good, but it isn't mind-blowing in the sense that you're not going to have the security updates and also some key features. There is also another difference with regards to squeezing the user interface. Squeeze the um, LG made uh, Pixel XL2, it may not be activated on this model, and you'll see the Google Assistant fire up. Check out my hands-on to see how that looks in action. The key UI is still going to support all of the Google applications um, and to the left hand side you've got the Google home screen and long press to see the overview of your home screens and swipe up for your applications tray whereas LG by default gets rid of the applications tray. So the camera setup is also different on the front. You have, I think it's a seven megapixel front camera. We can actually fire that up now. And you can take a look at me, taking a look at the phone, um, filming that now, fire that up, front camera, hey there, um, three lines, settings, and resolution of the front camera, yeah, eight megapixels. It's pretty bright, blowing out the screen, so we can drop the brightness and you can see that there, 8 megapixels versus a 5 megapixel front camera on the LG V30. Internals, however, are virtually identical. Snapdragon 835s across both with 4 gig of RAM, 64 gig storage with alternative versions with 128 gigs. However, the LG V30 is expandable for so anyone who wants to have that extra storage and whack in an SD card, that will be for you. It also has that quad DAC B&O tuning, produces audio better than any other device um, or any device I've used in direct comparison, um, including the new iPhone. That's through the 3.5 mil jack or headphones. What is cool about the Pixel XL 2 though is the fact that you can have unlimited cloud backups. So it'll back up in full resolution your 4K video, your 12 megapixel images uh, from around the back, um, and it will do that for all of time. And also, if you pre-order the Pixel XL2, or Pixel 2 XL, I should be calling it really, you will be getting a Google Home Mini as well, which is really exciting stuff. Battery capacity is also around 3,500 milliamps. So a good few hundred milliamps more than the LG V30. But how they stack up is all gonna come down to real world use. And we're yet to get a Pixel XL2 or even a final release LG V30 in. So it is all to play for. Two exceptional devices. One with a focus on that wide angle rear camera and some neat video tricks. The other with a focus on those front stereo speakers and that stock Android experience. Any questions, fire them in the comments section below. Like this video, click that thumbs up button. Like the channel, subscribe. It's how you are going to stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching.